Hey guys, it's Soph. I'm going to be taking you through a Pilates cardio fusion class today. All you need is a mat or a towel. We're going to be using a short band. The exercises that we're using the short band for, it's not make or break if you don't have one. Um, and we're also using a pair of slides, which you can use some fluffy socks or little uh, hand towels on this smoother surface, or you could use some plastic paper plates on a carpeted surface. So there's no restrictions in joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoy this session and let's get into it. So let's drop down to the mat now. All right, so we're just gonna bring our feet um, out in front of us about hip width apart. We're gonna roll all the way down into uh, our neutral lay position and let's go clasping the hands behind our head. We're gonna press the lower back into the floor for an imprinted spine and we're gonna use our breath as we exhale up. We're drawing our ribcage towards our hips, trying to hollow out, and then we're controlling all the way back down. Now, when we go back down, we want to avoid flaring the ribcage. So we're trying to keep it pressed down the entire time as we lift up, control it down, keeping our feet planted on the ground and lower. Exhale up. Inhale down. And so your hands should be helping take some of the load out of the front of the neck by hanging the head into that little hammock that it creates. So let's keep rising and lower. And we're gonna either hold it up here, you can keep your feet on the ground, or we're going to come up into a high hollow with your legs extended. We're bringing the hands all the way down next to our hips flip them down for our 100. So we're thinking about pressing the shoulders away from you, keeping the elbows straight as we lift and lower. So let's breathe in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, out, two. So get the legs as straight as you can. Let's go four, three, two, plant the feet back down, hands come back behind your head and return to our sit-ups. So we should definitely start to feel your abs working here. Some of you might feel it up quite high. That's totally normal. I'm definitely uh, feeling it there right now. So we wanna make sure that the knees aren't falling in or too far out here. And you should really start to feel the bone. All right, if you're feeling up to it, a little challenge today, we wanna to try and make these full sit-ups. A little tip for you, the closer your heels are to your hips, the harder it is to do this. So feel free to extend the legs away a touch. You can use the momentum of the arms to roll all the way up. And then we're rolling down through each vertebrae, returning back to the start. So let's just do a couple more here. And we're going to stay on our back on the last one and lower all the way down. So you have two options for this next one. You can lift to a tabletop and choose to extend the leg, return back to your tabletop, or we can do the reverse of that. We're going to come into a high hollow, pull in, extend back away, in and extend. Feel free to lift the chest up here and then hold the sit up. So this, however, like although it does make it quite hard on the abs to hold the sit up. It helps to imprint the spine and take some of the load out of your lower back. So if you're someone that really feels it grabbing when you do this work, give it a go and uh, you might find it really beneficial for you. Okay, let's go four, three, two, and you are Okay, plant it back down. Let's go back into those sit ups, either the little ones or the full sit up, you can use the arms, remember, and roll it down. This is our last lot of these sit ups. Let's go three, two, and last one. Okay, so flipping over into an elbow plank. So we're gonna either have your hands pointing or your thumbs pointing up towards the ceiling or you can plant them down. 
You can do this one on your knees or your toes. So on your knees, we're gonna shift the hips forward and then we press up slightly, forward and up, or on our toes. And we're shifting from your ankles and pressing back into the heels. Ankles and heels. So we wanna think about pulling the sternum up away from the floor, pulling up into the shoulder blades. So we're creating a nice strong base here avoiding sinking in through the lower back and let's keep breathing in through the nose out through the mouth shift and back and back oh, this is a new mark let's see let's keep moving we'll go five four three very hard awesome Nice work. Okay, we're gonna press straight up into our down dog. So tuck the toes under, pressing up here, and we're just walking through the feet. So this should feel like a nice stretch through the back of the legs. You might feel it through the feet if they're a little tight. And we wanna think about pressing the shoulders or your chest through and down towards the ground. Your shoulders are opening up. And four, four, two, so we're going to walk it in. You can bend the knees as much as you need to here. We're rolling all the way up through the spine and then we're rolling back down. Peel yourself away from that invisible wall you're standing up against, walking it out. Feel free to drop to your knees and then we're just sinking the hips through as far as you feel comfortable. So if you can go all the way down to the ground, go for it, making sure you're not collapsing in through the shoulders. So pressing up and away, open through our chest. And then we're going to walk it all the way back in and roll it all the way back up. And the aim of this is to try and keep the legs as straight as you can throughout the entire movement. Roll it up and Let's go one more. Okay, now from here, we're gonna bring your feet wider than your hip distance. Let's try and go about mat width apart. And we're gonna plant the elbows on the quads here. Okay, so now we're extending the legs, dropping the chest down as far as you can, keeping your elbows in contact with your thighs. And then we're sinking it down into a squat. And then we press all the way back up, keep them there, lower and rise. So this should start to really warm up the legs. Up your quads, warming up through the ankles. We're about to get into our cardio work, so this should start to pick up a little bit. It should start to feel nice and warm. So pressing the knees out to the side, lifting the arches of the feet up here. And let's go four, three, two, one. Okay, so. For our cardio piece today, we're gonna to be going through 20 reps of everything, 15 of everything, 10, five, and then no more cardio for the rest of this session. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five different cardio exercises. It's not heat, but it should get your heart rate elevated. All right, so we're gonna start with our uh, curtsy lunge to squat. You have the option to do a jump squat if you're feeling adventurous today. Otherwise, you can keep this as a non-plyometric and we just wanna constantly move. You'll still elevate the heart rate here. All right, so we're gonna get started with that one. Every lunge and squat is one rep, okay? So crossing over, trying to keep the knee from falling in and out here. So we are moving out of alignment. Lower and squat as one. You want to. It's a little bit longer. Okay, 
Take it out. Hold it. Keep our shoulders away from our ears. Stay nice and low on the legs. Last one. Feel on the quads. Ow. Oh my goodness. Okay. So coming into our mountain climbers now. Option to run these or you can step them, but I want you all to work on keeping your shoulders over the hands. So pulling in, tap it back. That's one. Two. Speed it up. Four. Five. Eight. Eleven. Twelve is a lot quicker. Fourteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Nineteen. Twenty. Ooh. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna be doing a broad jump, which is a traveling jump squat. Feel free to just do these as an air squat, lower and rise. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get two lengths, turn around and just keep turning around on the squat to stay in frame for you guys. If you've got a hallway, feel free to go bunny hop down it. Something a little fun. All right, so we wanna make sure we're getting full hip extension every time we jump. So that means that we sink down in a squat, we rise all the way up, you should get to this sort of position in the air, and then we catch ourselves back down into your squat. Okay, just be mindful the first couple, you might feel a little off balance, but we wanna think about planting the feet on the ground, stick your landing every time. Use the arms uh, as much as you need to. Let's do it. And swap. If you don't have space to do this, or it's just not working for you, feel free to do them on the spot. Ow, oh, good job. Okay, catch your breath. We've got probably universally the most hated exercise ever, but I love burpees, so that's what we're moving into. So we're gonna jump it out, jump it in, jump it up. Feel free to step it, it's totally up to you. I'm gonna step it for you first. Jump it straight away if you want to. So let's go back, in, full extension, drop back down. Okay, this is five. Jump the rest with me. Let's go. Try and keep the feet hip distance the whole time. No collapsing in the plank. Five, four, last one. Woo. Good job. Okay, last exercise. We'll have a little breather. Then we're on the round of 15. We've got plank jumps. So either on your elbows or on the hands. Let me catch my breath. Now, if you get sore wrists, feel free to do these straight on your elbows. Don't even bother trying on the hands because I've got some work later that I want you to do up on the hands if possible. Okay, so your first option for these is to step it out. One, two, otherwise we're jumping. Four, seven, ten, four, five, 18, 19, Woo. Yeah. Okay. Out, geez. So we've got all of that again. 15 reps through. And then once we get to our 10, they'll be really breezy. Really fast. We'll be good. All right, 
grab a little drink and we'll get ready. We've got the lunge to curtsy squat. I'm gonna keep these without the jump for the sake of going through it nice and smooth. If you're gonna jump it, feel free to pause me because um, I'll be finishing it quicker than you are. All right, let's go. Cross and squat as one, two. I forgot to say, because these are uneven, we're gonna do 16. Yeah, happiness. Eight. Stay low. Fifteen and sixteen. Ow. All right. One side of your mountain climber is one rep. Just fifteen of these. Shoulders over the hands. Feel free to sub these for bicycles on your back if your wrists are getting sore. All right. Let's go. One, two. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Woo! Good job. Okay, the broad jumps. I'm gonna stay on the spot for this one. So I'm just doing a jump squat. Feel free to travel these if you're enjoying that. All right. The aim, if you're comfortable mobility-wise, I want you to try and get your hips in line with your knees at the bottom of your squat. Pop it up and then smooth landing all the way down through the toes, the knees, back to that position to start your next rep. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Two. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Okay. Oh, burpees next. So feet stay hip width apart. No sinking into the lower back. Feel free to step it through if you need to. Let's go. Ten more. Last five. Last one. Whew. Plank jumps, let's do it. Elbows or hands. Let's go. Two. Eight, nine, ten, five. Three, two, one. Oh, solid work. Heart rate should be elevated. Let's take some big breath. Big exhale. As big an inhale as you can take. Back into the exhale. I am definitely past oh. Okay, just a round of 10. A round of five, let's smash it out. We've got our lunge to curtsy squat, or just your normal lunge, whatever you wanna do. Into it, one, two. Nine. Solid work. Mountain climbers. Let's go. One, two. Eight, nine, ten. Burpees. If you're feeling fresh still and you want to do chest to floor burpees, go for it. I'm going to stick to just the plank ones. Otherwise, feel free to step it out, step it in. Let's just try and keep moving. Let's go. Arm overhead. Four. Five. 
Seven. Nice. Last one. All right, jump it straight down to your plank. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Five. Four. Three. One. Woo! Big exhale. Stay nice and tall. We're going for our last set. Five of everything. Other than the curtsy to squat, we're doing six of them. Got to keep it even. Always. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Lunge. Squat. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Six. Mountain climbers. Let's go. One. Two. Four. Five. Six. Straight into your burpee. Let's go. Two. Three. I missed the broad jump. Four. Five. Now the squat jump. Or the broad jump. One. Two. Four. Five. Plank jumps. Two. Three. Four. We did it. Definitely time for a drink. Let's have a little breather. No more cardio. Right, we're moving into a little bit of upper body work now. For this next one, you can sit, stand, do whatever you want to do. Where it's called a prayer hand lift. So I want you to think about pulling the hands together and the elbows as close together as you can. Don't stress if they don't touch. It's about that action of adapting with the the chest here. So squeeze it in, then we're going to rise and pull back down, lift and lower. While we're doing this, let's think about drawing our ribs down. Shoulders are staying away from the ears, so we're trying not to shrug them up as we move. Push them away and lower. Press the hands together, lift, lower. I'm going to say five, four, three, two, and hold. You know what's coming. Pulses, let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, six second pause. Hold it up. As high as you can. Three, four. I'm my shoulders today, so they are burning. All right, this is the one I really wanted you to try on the hands. Um, I'll give you an option if your wrists just don't like that pressure. Okay, so first two options if you are gonna take the option on the hands. First one, you keep the feet and the bottom planted on the ground, and then we're just lowering down and pressing back up. And we're trying to get the arms to do as much of this work as possible, okay? Might be a little hard if you're really tight through your chest to get this range. See if you can give this next option to option a go. So we're going to try and hover the hips off the ground and then we bend and extend. So all of this movement should come from your elbows bending and extending, not the hips lowering and rising. So stay with them if you're going to stay with them. Otherwise your option off the hands would be to lay on your belly and we're going to squeeze the hands up and then lower back down. Okay, we're going to be on our belly for the next couple of moves so we'll be joining you if you want to take this option. All right, so take whatever option you're going to pick. Let's smash them out. So if we're doing the one up on the hands here, for both of the hand options, we want to keep the elbows pointing directly behind you. Try not to flare them out to the side. And we rise up and out of the shoulders, lower back down. Lift and lower. Breathe. Let's do six more. Five. Four, six, seven, two, my favorite number to go. Three. And let's hold it here. If you're on your belly, hold the arms up, squeeze the hands together. This one we're just holding still. Hold it for another five, four, three, two, ow, and one. All right, give the arms a shake. And we're gonna flip over onto our stomach. We've got our swan backs now. Okay, so this is working our posterior chain. Try and keep your, so that's the back of the body. So we've got your upper back, your lower back's working, your glutes, your hammies. It's a great exercise. 
Okay, so we want to start with the arms overhead. Eye gaze is going to be down to the floor. Shoulder blades are down away from our ears and shoulders are down away from our ears. Okay, you can keep the feet on the ground here. If it feels better to lift them, go for it, but it is more extension through the back. And we're going to use a little bit of momentum as we lift up and then control all the way back down. Lift and lower. So what I want you to avoid is feeling like you're pressing the belly into the floor to lift you up. It should be the back of the body lifting you, okay? Keep it moving. And lower. Okay, six. Nicely done. Feel free to press it back in a child's pose here. Have a little breather as I set you up and talk you through the next part. So we're going to come into an elbow plank next. You have the option to be on your knee or your toes on the bottom foot. Okay? So we're stacking the elbow directly underneath this shoulder. Keep the shoulder away from the ear and we want to keep the chest open initially. So let's press it up either on your knee here Hips are nice and stacked. We're gonna bring the top hand behind your head. Okay, let's just hold it here for a moment. See how stable you feel. If you're feeling pretty good here, we're gonna try and progress and take the bottom leg to be stacked above the top leg. All right, so we're gonna be pulling the top elbow down as we pull the ribs towards your hips. And then we lift all the way back up, open up through the chest, and then come all the way back down again. Twist and lift and the aim here is that your hips don't go lower as you bring the chest down right twist and hips up. let's go four three so i'm gonna look like this two and one so you can keep the hand here or you can plant the top hand on the ground and we're gonna go lift and lower Lift, have four, three, two, and one. Oh, good job. Okay, have a little shake, straight into the other side. So we're getting into some lower body work next. This is the last bit for our upper body and the abs there. Um, we are doing a tiny bit more abs later, I don't want to lie. All right, so either on your knee or on the uh foot on the bottom one and we're going to lift up and hold stack the hips pull the ribs down up on the toes if you're going to do that one with me and let's do it twist and lift lift the hips up Got four, three, two, and one. Okay, feel free to bring that top hand down. And we're gonna lift and lower. Two, three, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're moving into our next series now. We're gonna be standing. And I want you to grab whatever you're using instead of slides or your slides if you're going to be using them. So we don't need the mat for this one. So just feel free to roll it up to the side. We're going to be using it just a moment um, before we go to the other side. So we actually only need one slide at a time today. All right. We're going to start with the hands either to your hips or behind your head. Eventually, I want you to try and bring them to behind your head, but we just want to make sure for this one that we're not pulling the neck down. So we want to try and uh, have a nice straight line from your tailbone all the way up to the top of the head. Okay, so we've got a lateral lunge now. So we're going to bring this foot out to the side and stack the hips. We don't want to hang out into the, the right side here. So our left leg is extended, hands are behind our head to our hips and let's just do a lunge. So we slightly bring the chest forward, only a little bit for this part, and then your bottom is going back, and then we're rising all the way back up again. So from side on, we look like this. And lift. 
And lift. So your shoulders will come forward towards the end of the rep. We just don't want to drop them straight away. So lower. Right. I've got 16 here. Six. Pull ribs down. Nine. Ten. Six more. Weight in your heel. Five and six. So we're going to hold the lunge now, hands behind our head, and we're just hinging from the hips. So try and keep a bend in the supporting leg. The other leg is straight. Lift and lower. Three. Be working this leg a lot. You might even feel your inner thigh on the straight leg. Okay, so we're going to bring our hands to our hips. So we want to shift all the weight into your right leg now, and we're going to lift the left leg, tap it back down. Doesn't matter how high it goes. Normal to feel this in both sides. Stand it in. Okay, have a quick little shake of your right leg. We're not done yet. Almost. Okay, so we're gonna bring it back out to the side and we've gotta tap in, press it straight back now. Bring it back into the center, side, and let's go. Back, side, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ribs down, 11. 13, this is mean to call out and in one rep, isn't it? 16, hold it back, pulse it, one, two, this is our last bit, then we're dropping down on the mat. We're swapping legs. Seven, eight, six more, five, four, back leg straight, two, ow, good job. Okay, little reset. A little bit of ab work, last bit of ab work for today. And then we're gonna do the other side with those slides, and then we're done. Okay, so this is where we've got the option for the band. Remember, definitely not a necessity. So we're gonna start with it up above the knees. All right. So we're gonna roll all the way down onto the mat how we started, press the lower back into the floor, and then we're just gonna tap, pull back up. Tap and up. Okay. So we want to make sure that the lower back isn't lifting and lowering. We want to keep it in a fixed position the whole time. Okay, if you're feeling all right here, let's lift the chest up. Normal if you're really feeling your legs right now after all that work that we just did. Five. Four. So we're going to bring the band down around your feet now. So remember you can keep doing all of these movements without the band, you'll still get a lot out of it. And we've got our bicycles now. So head back down again, we're starting in your tabletop and we're just pressing one foot away, pull it back in. Press and pull. So if you're having trouble keeping your lower back on the floor, feel free to just bend the knees in to more of a tuck and then just extend as far as the band tension allows you to. My band isn't super heavy. Um, if you're wondering what sort of resistance to use, anywhere from a medium to a light, we want to prioritize being able to get a nice full range here. Let's lift the chest if you're feeling up to it. We're going to add a twist and twist. Okay. 
너무 넓고 One. Okay, then we're gonna hold it out, hold the tabletop, and then we're just gonna pull the feet apart, draw them back in. Let's go six, five, four, three, two. Good job. Okay, we've just got the slides on the other side. That's it. So roll up your mat again. And we've got your right foot with the slide this time, hands behind your head. Bring the foot out to the side and let's lunge. And stand it up, we've got 16. Keep this leg straight. Most of the uh, weight should be in this supporting leg, okay? The leg should move with ease, the right one. Let's do four more. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hold it out, just the hinge. Lift and lower. Two. Another good. Keep the abs engaged. Seven. Nine. Good job. Transfer your weight into your left leg. We're gonna point that right foot. Let's lift and lower. And tap it back down. Just tapping the toes. Three. Four, try not to roll in your supporting foot. Seven. Nine. And six more. Three. Leg. Six, tap it in, let's go into the back and side, that's one. Almost done. Three. Five, six. I'm also yelling out almost done for Brent who's trapped in the study. <laughs> I told him he couldn't come out while I was filming this. <laughs> Ten. Twelve. Oh, 14, 15, last one, 16, hold it back, pulses, let's go, one, two, four, keep your heel planted, six, nine, ten, six, five, four, three, ouchies, Woo! Taking your legs. Oh, that was tough. All right, let's have a little hinge forward, back in your down dog sort of position. Rough enough, and we'll just walk through the legs. Solid work today. That was a big Pilates session. I actually didn't time it today, so I'm curious to see how long I've been plugging along for. If you've uh, completed the whole thing with me, awesome job. Should be very proud. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you on the mat next time. Let me know what you loved. I know you all hated the burpees. <laughs> Thanks guys, see ya.